Page 71, graduation song. We're not adding anything new here. We're using what we had, and the music is getting a little trickier. A lot more eighth notes, a lot more you know, different rhythms. This melody is actually from a French folk tune. You know, Alouette, Alouette, Boo, Scooby Doo, whatever. I don't know the words anymore, but that's what it is. It's a fun little piece. They've added other words to it for a graduation thingy, and that's fine too. I really don't care. I ain't singing it. It doesn't make me any difference. But let's talk about the piece. 4-4 four, four time, we'll start with the right hand. You have that dotted rhythm again. Now you're starting in C position here. One and two and. One and two and. Three and four and. One and two and. Three and. Rest and. And two and three. That's pretty much it. Second line, second measure. One and two and three and four. And again, these need to be controlled and even. Uh, the scale will help you. If you'll be doing my C major video on do the beginner part, one octave up and down, and you need to do that every day. That scale. When you first sit down to do it, just do the scale first, as I explain in the video. And it will help you develop this feel of evenness and control because of the loose wrists and all the, the accents and all that stuff. That's pretty much it for the right hand. Left hand, you're just down here in C position. You got CG and the FG. And then in the second line, last measure, you get some melody. One and two, one and two and three. And the third line again, one and two and three and four and one. to say in this piece because we've had all this before. So let's look a little, I will talk about a little bit about technique, just a little bit. Third line down, the last measure and the note right before the last measure. That is going into the last measure in the left hand. You have a D and then the C G. The little finger and the ring finger are the two weak fingers. We all have to deal with them. So you're going from here to here, and you're adding a G. That can be really tricky for some people. Now it's important to stay loose. I use a weight control here, and I let the weight push the notes down. I'm not trying to do it with my finger muscles. So I have the note, I have the D down, and when I get ready to play the chord, the C G, I put my fingers where I want to go, and I lift the wrist up. And as I lower the wrist, the ring finger comes up and the other fingers go down. And it's the weight of the hand that pushes the notes down, not my fingers. All I'm doing is transferring weight from the little finger. I'm raising the wrist when I do it. I don't raise the wrist all the time, but in this situation, it works. And then I just add the thumb to the little finger. a little bit of time to get that but I encourage you to work on it as time goes on connect these don't don't lift up like that connect them now the repeat signs you see the repeat sign at the bottom but we don't go back to the beginning remember because there's a reverse repeat sign in the second line we only go to there remember the rule Repeat sign, you go back to the reverse, and that's actually you go back to the last reverse repeat sign because there can be more than one in a piece. You go back to the last one, and if there's no reverse repeat sign at all, then you go back to the beginning. That's the way that is. So when we repeat, we go back to the second line, second measure, and we will do that. So I like to give us four counts, and let's play this together slowly to double check these notes and rhythms. It says joyfully. How joyfully do you feel? So forth. My joyfully is not the same as your joyfully. You have to decide what your joyfully is, or if you have a teacher, they will tell you what your joyfully is, and you can deal with that. 
We're gonna go slowly here. So go give us four counts, put your hands in C position, and away we go. One and two and ready and go and one and 